Hello. Give me a second to just finish setting up. Let's see. <sighs> so I think what we have to do is, uh, Okay, I guess this. Infiltrating the headquarters of a megacorp and locating Raymond Black will be challenge enough. Extricating him from his mother's assist device before his memories are permanently altered is another thing altogether. You hop the MTR south line and roll noisily down to the nearby island of Apple Chow. A dense forest of soaring... That's it. Alrighty. I think we read that last time anyways. What? Excuse me, what? You're kidding me. No, what sort of BS is that? Uh, yeah, load. <laughs> is it going to every time we load a game here? Are we not allowed to save and load games in the tower? If I have to restart the whole level, I'm going to be really upset. No! Oh my... No! What? That's madness. You're kidding. Oh... Uh, what? Okay, let me... Let me look us up. Other people are reporting the same issue. When I load a save I have for the Prosperity Tower mission, I immediately get a mission failed mes message, even though things were fine before I quit. Well, um, hmm. What if we load one? Wow, we'd lose like a whole hour of progress. Holy crap. Let's try it. It's better than restarting the entire mission, I guess. Uh. Please work, please work. Okay, so that was weird. We had a moment of uh, heat posing. This seems to be working now. Uh, so yeah, we haven't done the big fight here at all. I don't know if we've gone in there yet. A word of all of late maintenance issue right here in your office. Oh yeah, we don't have enough uh, stuff for any of these. Yeah, okay. Let's go make a deal with the suit. Oh, how annoying. 
to lose so much progress. Yeah, who are you? Yeah, we already did all of this, so... How was your game? I'm listening. What do you need done? Sure. Foreign accounts. <sighs> Roosevelt, get in there. Missed. We'll get tar blasted. Wow, can you just kill her every round? I didn't realize it had a one round cooldown. Yeah, attack. Six, eight, seven, eight. One, three, six, three. Five, six, nine, eight, one. Four, two, one, four, four. Nine, one, seven, six, two, one. Four. This one? No, it's not that one. Um, 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 um. No, it's this one. No, it's this one. Yes. Financial records. Okay, we already read all this. I'm just going to speed through it. Six, two. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to start yet. Okay. We didn't need the whole lap time for that. We also don't need to do as much time in says as I usually do. <sighs> Well, let's have a big fight now. <laughs> hmm. 
You must stun and arrest this man. Gobbit, grab this. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of people in there, so. Yeah. Hello. How are you, gentlemen? Plate barrier. Oh no, I don't have quite enough movement to jack in this turn. Okay. I needed her to be closer to the door, I guess. Missed. Well, that's better than nothing. Sounds awesome. Rad. die next turn, so... Let's see, this guy, did he go in here, or where's that other guy? Um, who cares? Duncan, get in here. Jack in. That sounds pretty cool. You're pacified, sir. Let's look up at, uh, do some scouting out here. doesn't sound very useful, but yeah, they can just walk around this, I think. Oh well. Ah! Why?
Okay, let's see. Do we remember how we got through this area? I did that easier than last time. So do this, individual. It's not that horrible that we're having to redo some of this. Oh no, don't walk there. Oh, what an idiot. What is this? Magic marble? Oh yeah. For one round. It only lasts one round? It's not as cool sounding as she made it out to be when once she got it. I don't want to use our regular attack because that could hurt the Watcher. Oh man. Oh yeah, maybe we'll, uh, we'll just summon a Bud. Yeah, give me a shield. Do like uh, a scout. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I didn't realize the watcher was going that direction. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, so this thing we have to take out immediately. Not like that. Please. Okay, it'll die from the erosion, but it'll probably do another 20 system traits. System response level nine. Okay. Great. Yeah, 
get out of here. <sighs> nope. I do the same thing over and over. Come on. That's not cool. Sir, please don't shoot Duncan. Five ports. Three, six, seven, six. One, eight, one, six, five. Eight, five, three, seven, nine. Five, three, six, six, four, five. this one, right? Okay, awesome. Get back behind cover, everyone. Okay, he walked around, I think. Let the erosion kill the other one. Or, or maybe not. This will do a little loop de loop here. Nice. 
Okay. Isabel's back. Woohoo. Mm -hmm. Oh, a mage. Mage and two guards. Where's this ball going to go? Maybe we can set up a proximity mine over here or something. Hey, Alex. You missed um, something horrible that happened earlier. So I came down, uh, started up the game, loaded up my save game, and do you have any idea what, uh, so I, lo I, I load up the save game within seconds of loading. I didn't even get to do anything. Mission failed. Huh, that's strange. Let me load up the previous save game. Same thing. Loads up, mission failed immediately. Uh, I look it up online. There's other people who have the same issue with this particular mission. Loading up a game in, in the middle of it, um, in certain sections of it. So even though everyone was perfectly fine when I saved the game, I can't load those games anymore. Uh, I lost literally an hour of progress um, having to go back to a previous save. So I'm redoing this whole section. Very frustrated. Oh, okay, so there's still mage, so there are three enemies right now. I just can't see one of them. Uh, Duncan, go arrest him.
Where is that mage? Is he over here? Creeping? see him so he doesn't exist. pretty well. Isabel, go mess that guy up. If I use this computer, Alex, I'll have a conversation with the ghost lady. The person who's talking to me right now isn't even in the room anymore. She was standing over here. But when the battle broke out, she fled. I don't think she's supposed to be anymore. All the civilians are supposed to have left. Really, it should probably just have this terminal not be interactive uh, anymore. I was supposed to, uh, like, there was another civilian down here who wanted me to go get some data off of the terminal up here, but there's a manager in here who wouldn't let me get the data off that terminal and my crystal was not high enough to schmooze my way past them. So. Uh, but the lady I was supposed to give the data to isn't here either. She ran away, so there, there's no point to the terminal. I was really hoping I'd be able to just use it anyway to see what the data was. Go to the Thaumaturgical Research Center. That's weird. I could have sworn that um, I had a conversation when I came down here last time. And so they're just immediately attacking me. Oh well. Uh, there's literally no way we can get to the um, alarm in time, so let's just hold up. Bunker down in here. Here we go. Uh, please, please don't miss. Awesome. Hmm. 
Okay, I have enough action points to haste. I'm gonna have a drone open the door so this spell can get through a little bit faster. And there should be like a whole bunch of dudes over here. This doesn't walk through that acid cloud or plague cloud, does it? Good, good, good. Yeah, from this room over here, there's a bunch of uh, dudes coming this way. Hopefully, there's no one on this side, so Isabel will go around that edge. Yeah, what else is sleepy time? You need this thing. Crap. Okay, I guess I'm sending this drone with Isabel. She can't open the door without that keycard. corner? No, I guess we have to do something about these dudes before they wake up. Ugh, <sighs> problem solved. We know another acid fog next round. I'm going to put it right in the doorway. Uh, dunk. Here's some haze. Going for the drone. That's no good. Okay. So I have people out here, and I think more people will be coming out of these doors right next to us. I'm not thrilled right now. Duncan. 
Get out there. Stun them. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, two of them asleep. Duncan is definitely MVP. Uh, should I put the sassy cloud here on this lady? Maybe. No, I'll save it. does it? No, no, it does. Okay, even if she isn't the one holding it, she can still do it. Okay, that's rad. Sneak out. Do with these doofuses. A good acid fog. Uh, we're at about here. Should probably do it. Stop big handcuffs. Get this guy to hit him. Well, maybe we can. No, we can't. Oh, it's because my baton needs reloaded. Um, okay, trying to remember how I got through this area before. The way they pivot around the corners is actually very helpful. Nope, don't go yet. Ah, uh, that's fine. Um... That is a okay. There's a lost alarm over here.
That's a lot of enemies. Okay, that's not a real enemy, that's a watcher. Oh, it's going to see me, crap. Let's go back. Yeah, I'm just chilling out in the open. sad. Duncan, let's try and get this guy. I think this one's going to be awake any moment, so... Dang, God. That acid fog is really great. Very OP. Just put these both in a watch looking at the asleep guy. In case he wakes up. Oh no! Okay, okay. At least they haven't killed me. Yet. Come to us. Wait, did it see me? I thought I was safe up there. Uh, we have to use the suppression. We have a choice. Uh, now this one's going to see me. That's no good. Acid fog? Oh yeah, we'll get both of them. We've made this place very inhospitable.
Oh, he's almost dead. Why am I bothering with him? Oh, hey, Ace. I'm sorry, I didn't notice. A uh, fixed spot. They did? What do you mean then? Didn't they? Oh, this happened again like while I wasn't streaming, maybe. Wow, how many does it show? You're still a VIP. But they, they fixed it. I don't have a, a million bot followers. Do you not want to be a VIP? Why do we get taken away? I did reach it though. Oh, that's Tar Blast. No, there's no way that Tar Blast will hit. Eight one one eight nine one. Oh, um, is this one? No, um, is this one? God. What am I doing? Oh, that was close. Okay, that's the last alarm system I had to hack. We still have to go across here, though into this room. And we don't have to, but...
Okay, Duncan, get your butt back over here. Grenadier worries me. I didn't mean to send you over there. Okay, yeah, there's no watcher ice in this, uh, this area. So let's go here and summon our assassin. here, use killer on this, and then I can get back in cover. Oops. Seven, nine. Five, eight, eight, nine. Three, nine, seven, nine, two. Four, five, five, eight, nine. Nine, three, two, seven, six, four. one? No. Is this one? Yeah. Yeah, wreath post. Cool. Equipment room door code. Did it. Uh, is this the equipment room? What is the door code? Eight nine seven four. Eight nine seven four. That's nope, that's not the equipment room. Uh, 
what are you? The VP. Oh yeah, there's spell books in here. Take it. Take it. Nothing in here. We read the terminal. All right, Isabel, get in there. Hello. Kill. Special Projects Communication Archive. Assist Machine Operation Data. Okay, we need all of this. Let's just hack it. One, two, nine, seven. Two five two eight five nine two one four six four two five one four four one three four eight this one Special projects. Okay, yeah, we already read this last time as well. I think. Yeah, we did. Yes, I expect success. Oh, we could have just forced this one. Nine, five, five, one. Four, one, eight, three. Three, eight, three, four, two. One, one, five, five, two. I think we can do this with that. This one? No. Um, there we go. Cool. I think this floor is all looted now. Oh, except where is that equipment room? It was in here, right? Nine seven four. Sweet. Manage. Here, have a med kit. Here, have a med kit. Oh. Here, have a healy thing. Who 
wants a shotgun. Oh. No one can equip this shotgun. Stadish. Uh, actually, can I take the shotgun? No. What a shame. Here, you take it. Ooh, another flashbang. I think we're good with grenades. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff there. Danger in use, do not enter. What if I want to enter? Okay, so I think it's here that if we save our game, we won't be able to load it. But I'm going to go ahead and try saving it anyways. Even if it ends up being an unloadable save. Okay. Walk away. We have two different numerical codes. We figure out, I guess, which one is right. Let's try 25301. 25301. Oh, second sequence activated. Mm -hmm. So that's when you vote. 44526. 44526. Please have your Omega ID ready. I don't have an Omega ID. Well, let's do this. We'll alert the rapid response squad. There's no turning back. <sighs> yep, guess we gotta. The elevator codes acquired. You head into the enclosed space, watching the ceiling access panel closely as you make your way to Lab 12. Light elevator music contrasts sharply with the smell of sweat and cordite. As the lights on the elevator hit 12, you cover the door and wait. Okay. Okay, hold on. You should know that maintenance is not allowed to be here without an Omega level escort. You two, you have two seconds to produce an Omega level ID before I open fire. Unless I've left my Omega level ID in my other pants pocket. Um. Well, you asteroid. Yeah, oh, let's just go with that. Fine. Take him down. Dunk. You're our MVP here, Duncan. I actually know the acid fogs are. So we can take one of you guys out of out of the picture immediately.
Okay. Safe to hide behind. Yes, go down here. Hello, sir. Really? Why is he not getting gassed? Because he has like a full helmet on? I don't know. That was usually super effective. No! Ugh. So stupid. Sometimes there just isn't much of an indication that, like, you've selected someone else. Mega level access card. How am I doing for health? Um, half health? Not fantastic, but could be worse. Oh, is that Raymond? Lab 12 smells of shiny new computer equipment, and the entire room hums with quiet efficiency. Monitors ping occasionally, broadcasting quiet alerts. The whole environment breathes high-tech serenity. The centerpiece of the scene is a cockpit-like capsule containing the unconscious form of Raymond Black, reclining peacefully on what looks to be some sort of a surgical couch. Wires run from myriad assist devices to the back of his head. Impressive setup. Josephine Sang must have spent a fortune on this. Holy shit, Raymond. Yeah, we need to get him out of there. All at once, alarm klaxons begin to blare. The door that you entered through slides shut, and you can hear the latching mechanisms engage. It's locked tight. The pounding sound of heavy footsteps resonates from the other side. Bodies approaching and moving at a rapid clip. Whatever we're gonna do, we better do it fast. We're about to have company. Um, why am I grabbing this first? I, this is so stupid. Scrolling through the reams of information on display, you eventually find step-by-step -step instructions for disconnecting a subject from the machine while it's in a state of operation. The instructions do not look promising. This is hopeless. We can't shut this thing down according to the normal spec. We don't have the time, or the clearance, or the personnel. Maybe if we had a week, echelon, secur e echelon security clearance, and an army of lab techs. But we don't. We're gonna have to improvise. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, I don't think we have a choice. I don't. I don't like it. It is risky, but search for a way to perform an emergency. Eventually, you turn up an alternative method, labeled deeply unsafe, for removing a subject from the machine mid-procedure. In order to perform an emergency disconnect, you're going to have to reprogram his memory manually using engrams stored in the assist machine's memory. Doing this through the terminal would take hours. You'll need a decker to guide the process in real time. If you fail to restore Raymond's memories properly, he will suffer catastrophic neurological damage. In the best case scenario, he will be left a vegetable. In the worst case scenario, he will die. Sure. Um, 10 turns until emergency disconnect. Holy crap. Uh, get in there, Isabel. Gob it, what can you do? What? is because it's it's always shortened by other characters to is. I can't really hear you because I'm wearing headphones. Move up. Give me an acid fog. Okay, go on Overwatch. Two need to be on Overwatch. Ah, uh, yes, thank you, Acid Cloud. That's a lot of people. So let's see, let me just take a moment, try and suss out the pattern. I thought they'll get behind here and be safe. I will have to take out this one guy at least. Oh no, I tarred myself! I think. Okay, I'm not in a great position there. Do we summon the mummy here? Mummy! 
Obey my commands. She has a power bolt, wild aim, and chaos ball. Uh, where's their grenadier? Okay, what can we do here? Oh, with either of these guns, he can beam bag shot. That's weird. Okay, their captain is out of commission. Hunter is almost dead. Okay, we're really cleaning the house. Time for this. Where's the one that actually saw me? It's this one. Fine, let him come to me. Man, I'm not going to have time. Mummy. What is this chaos ball? Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, it's huge, too. Oh, we can't quite get them both in it, though. Yeah, that sounds too fun not to. I'm sure there'll be more people busting in through that door. Assassin, assassinate. Okay, so we have sort of these four things. Awesome. And let's see, we have Engram Bank code for the actual banks only, though. Do um, we just force? No, we have to have. Eight, four, four, three. One, two, two, six. Four, one, four, four, five. Three, seven, six, three, four. Seven, eight, eight, six, one, seven. Okay, let's do this. 
like him's a W. So W and then a side. An O thing. Uh, so it's one of these two, right? Open the readme. Again, in the files, you find a list of procedures that governs the safe removal of subjects from the machine. According to the file, all four memory engrams need to be locked in the, into the control hub in chronological order. Then and only then can a subject be ejected without suffering permanent neurological damage. Shut up, Windows. Uh, open the engram stream file. Select engram for slot one. Slot one active. Oh. Oh no, what am I doing? Stop. One, four, two, three. Please let me redo that. Oh no, I majorly screwed up. Okay. Whew. One, four, two, three. One, four, two, three. Reintegrate. Why did it fail? <laughs> what? Surely that's right. But are the passwords not supposed to be a hint to their chronological order? It doesn't want to start at noon and. We could try it for two, three, one. Maybe. Let's try one. One, four, two, three. Oh no, maybe this is. No, I don't know. One, four, two, three. What, what am I not getting about this? One, four, two, three. Four, two, three. Reintegrate. Uh, what am I not understanding? Uh, do I have to go through all these doors in here? Probably, maybe. Okay, I guess I guess we have to go through these gates. We're not gonna have enough time for this stuff. Yeah. 
eight turns. Alright. Mm. Let's see. So in eight turns, I have to go through four rooms doing big battles in each one. I just don't see any way to do this. This is not something I can possibly do. I don't think. I accidentally put that in there. I was wondering why there's something in there. I guess, yeah, let's just overwatch the heck out of it. Killed me from all the way over there. I need a buddy. Please assassinate. Sister. Yeah. Damn it. This is so hopeless. myself before I die. <laughs> Why can't I heal myself? There we go. I will probably kill my assassin. No, no, he went for me. Okay, drones are back online. us some time.
goodness. Missing with everything. I mean, it's in cover, but still. Five, three, nine, eight. Nine, eight, eight. Oh. Three, three, two, eight. The verdant aroma of a still pond in a late summer day. Its reflective surface is disturbed by a single tear. As the ripples glide from its impact point, a young boy's face is reflected in the water, grief fracturing its innocence. He traces the character of her father in the water with his finger. Okay. Six turns, so it took two turns to that last one. It takes two turns for each of them, we are not going to have time. Uh, the plague, you need a better hidey hole. Take these guys out as quickly as possible. That was a boatload of damage. Also, have to somehow not die. That would be good. Assassinate. You a white charge eyes. Okay, my healy thing is still on cooldown. Oh 
shit. Seven, five, 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 four, eight, nine, eight, four, one, three, seven, three, four, two, nine, seven, eight. Starts with M. Is it this one? Or is this the only one? Hmm. I think we're in bank two. What are you? The youth center. The youth center's gymnasium is thick with the scent of adolescent perspiration, marked by a steady diet of cheap soy protein. His authority as youth director is challenged, and although the boy couldn't be more than twelve, they stand eye to eye. The boy looks at his graying hair and sneers. You better know kung fu, mister, the pudgy boy says. I know lots of things, he replies. Are you smart enough to learn them? Uh, sure. Well, that was cool. Oh, no, no, no. He's getting fucked. Of course, getting out of there is going to be harder than getting in. Uh, mommy. I think I need to just banish you, mommy. But, I don't know. Keep that up. Go ahead and put the ones I have in there at least. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get the last two. In three turns. Give him two AP, he only needs one. Okay. Assassin. I choose you. Even though you're almost dead. Killer, please hit. It's not as damaging as open. Okay. 
So first here. This is really going to come right, right down to the wire, isn't it? That thing's going to turn. So it should be safe to move here. Oh no, that's two movement points. I screwed up. I meant to only move one. Okay. Back. Two, one, two, seven. One, five, two, two. Six, four, three, seven, eight. Three, five, five, seven, four. What's this? Second one is out of the clock. Is it this one? Yeah. A tide of Engrims rolls past. The scream wakes him like an old friend, as it does every night. He pulls the sheets away from his damp body and stumbles to the bathroom, his heart pounding. He rinses his face and the back of his neck with cool water. He looks up from the basin into the mirror and finds an old man staring back at him. A terrified old man. Okay. Uh, do just try running for it? Oh, awesome. Okay, okay, we're not doing horribly. We might actually do this in time. Except there's a huge amount of people here. What? Of course, this is going to be the toughest one. Black, white, white. Sure. Assassin, I need your assistance. Once again. Shield, I probably need you too. <laughs> Uh, we just have to make it through this room within three turns. We can do it, boys. Black eyes, you dead. Not quite. Only half dead. Two turns remaining. Uh, you, mummy. Mummy be gone, please. I banish you to the Shadow Realm. this gonna work. Not dead. Ugh.
Okay, we need to move up. I think. Okay, that's a better chance of hitting. Of course, I don't have that last one in time. Assassinate. <laughs> of course it misses. Hack. One, five, six, two. Two, two, six, two, four. Eight, two, eight, nine, seven. Three, five, five, seven, five. Let's do it. W. Let's get it starts with W. This is this one. It's this one. Bank four. Anticipation. The hall is long and ends at his door. He traverses the distance slowly, knowing that he is being observed by his new underlings. And there it is, newly installed, shining like a mirror on a door made from real wood. The brass nameplate. Edward Sang, vice president of special projects. Pride swells within him. Okay, so we, we have the Engrams. Two turns remaining. We're gonna do this. Okay, so bank one is Dawn. As a young boy. Locked. Good. Uh, slot two is. Let's just do four. Let's do them in order. Four. A young executive. Locked. A middle-aged man. An old man. We integrate. No! How'd it fail? Boy, young, middle aged, old. Um, Young boy, young executive, uh, middle aged. Sure. That's uh, what what was that hint supposed to be for? This is. Oh, these are the ice passwords. This isn't... Okay, so this, maybe this isn't supposed to be the the order that we input them into the system. These are literally just the passwords, so I didn't have to do that hacking. Okay. 
five. Oh, I'm not in combat. The clean room echoes with your footsteps as you approach the capsule containing the assist surgical couch. Through the window, you can see that the last eight years have not been kind to Raymond Black. The trauma of the last few days is readily apparent. The pasty pallor of his skin and the white growth of stubble on his chin make him appear far older than 65. His, he lies unconscious, his chest barely moving, his eyes sunken and his jaw slack. Carefully applied gauze dressing on his balding head surrounds a gleaming metal port, a data jack. A thin bundle of wires runs from the jack to the device mounted to the capsule wall. Oh my god. Raymond, can you hear me? It's Crab Apple. The old man's breathing changes, and you see movement under his eyelids. He slowly becomes conscious. Crab Apple! Uh, we have to go. I left prosperity in the walled city. He must be disoriented from the assist programming. Looks like we got to him just in time. No time to catch up right now, the plague. We've got to move. We've got to go. I'm going to get you out of there. Sweet. Disconnecting Raymond from the assist device proves to be straightforward, as does getting him out of the capsule and onto the clean room floor. It feels as if he barely weighs anything at all. Eat on, Crabapple. I'll be right behind you. Oh, we have to get out of here now. Okay. Luckily, that should be, well, relatively straightforward. The guards are talking amongst themselves excitedly as you arrive. Then they're instantly alert, exchanging nervous glances. Their leader speaks up, addressing them with all the confidence he can muster. We're the last line of defense, men, and we're going to hold them here. Do you understand? The guards are clearly frightened, but appear ready to follow his orders. You can see his confidence rising at their reactions. Stop where you are, runner. Drop your weapons or we'll open fire. Uh... Yeah, you sure you want to do this? No, this is definitely not how we want to do this. Let's just pretend we never saw each other, okay? Well, okay. Smart play. Achievement locked. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Indeed. Ooh, heck yeah. Alarms blare as you hustle Raymond from the special projects section of Prosperity Tower, but you encounter no resistance. Raymond unsteadily gropes his way through the corridors of the corporate headquarters, holding on to your elbow for support. Occasionally, the old man fingers the gauze dressing on his head with his free hand, wincing when he touches a tender patch. Tense minutes pass between the time you exit the building and enter the MTR station. The team remains on high alert, scanning the streets and buildings for signs of Thang security forces. Until, like a stream of cockroaches, you scuttle underground into the cool safety of the mass transit tunnel. You pay the fare, grab Raymond, and make your way to the subway platform. The sound of the old man's ragged breathing loudly rushing past your ear. Seconds tick slowly while you wait for the subway train to arrive. Let's take him back to the big Texas. The team hustles Raymond onto a subway car, quietly taking up defensive positions and scoping the platform for signs of pursuit. The old man's unsteady on his feet, but he insists on standing under his own power. He grabs a railing and holds on with white knuckles as the train lurches forward. A group of tourists sit nearby, conspicuously avoiding eye contact with any of you. 
Your crew looks over the old man with the bandage on the back of his head, exchanging meaningful expressions. Raymond squints at the odd group surrounding him, but his nod indicates that he understands he's among friends. Yeah, don't mind Gaishu. Wu drags his goggles off his head, bending his knees to get a better look at his foster father. A tangled knot of relief, compassion, resentment, and hurt churns across the young man's face as he wrestles with his confused emotions. Also, this is presented as if it's this is dialogue Duncan is saying when it's actually um, description. Raymond, you all right, little man? I I fought against the reprogramming. You look like crap. Holy holy cow. The old man's voice is a little more than a soft croak. His eyes are sunken and surrounded by dark circles. His mother's medical technology must be amazing. It's hard to believe he's walking under his own power so soon after surgery. Yeah, well, Grandma's an amazing woman. Her high-tech brain surgery, her ownership of the cops, her execution of my partner and those runners. Oh, and the way she had the plastic-faced man snatch her own son. Real amazing woman. Easy dunk. Don't easy dunk at me, Crab Apple. That was Carter's thing. Find something else to say when you think I'm on edge. This man, whoever he is, has a lot of explaining to do. You ready to start telling us the truth, Edward? <laughs> yes, Duncan, I'm ready to tell you everything. I had planned to explain it all when you arrived in Hong Kong. Uh, but we're here now. Yes, you are here, and I am grateful for all you've done for me, all that you needed to do. The old man leans back on the wall of the subway car and gathers his thoughts. He seems to swoon for a moment, but then inhales deeply, swallows hard, and pulls himself up. My name is Edward Sang. I am the only son of Josephine Sang, the CEO of Sang Medical Services, heir to, heir to the company. Before I left Hong Kong, I was the vice president of Special Projects, an up-and-coming star of the company. Um... Yeah, why did you leave then? My division was shut down, you see, disbanded. One of my projects failed. Prosperity. You've heard of it. Prosperity. I see. I was part of a project my mother envisioned to rebuild Kowloon Walled City. A walking neighborhood for underprivileged citizens fully integrated with job training programs, co-op child care, drug counseling centers, you name it. It was a new approach to low-income housing in the East. A springboard to prosperity for hundreds of thousands. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the place I grew up in. Hmm. Mother personally oversaw every aspect of the project to ensure that every detail was executed properly. Chose each project manager herself, chaired regular status meetings with architects, builders, visited the worksite for surprise inspections. She was driven to make her renewed, revitalized walled city a success. Yeah, she didn't do too well. Not true. You see, Mother's planning was excellent. But the walled city wasn't the prosperity project. Prosperity was something I built at the center of the walled city. Oh. A moment later, an invisible grip takes hold of your chest, constricts it, squeezing the air from your lungs. Your vision grays from the edges, and the world surges backward, leaving you suspended in the distance, on the periphery of reality. Something's hurtling towards you, approaching from the fringe of your mind like a bullet train. It screams ahead, closer and closer, until it's upon you, overwhelming you with its presence. And then, nothing. Silence. 
until a scream pierces your consciousness, pulls you screaming to its source. You're back in the walled city, the city of darkness. Your mind wrenches, inverts, and then violently jerks back into your skull. Your stomach cramps hard, and the taste of bile burns your throat. A thin trickle of cold sweat slides down the small of your back, and your eyes refuse to focus. Your crew fares no better. Gobbit pulls herself from the floor, madness and folly squeaking worriedly in the folds of her clothing. Isabel gri grips a railing, her back to the group retching silently. Raptor leans against Koshe. Koshe? His... That's not how you spell it. You can't even spell your own drone's name right. His ashen face staring at the ceiling. He blinks rapidly, processing. Gaichu stands perfectly still in the center of the car. Hands at his sides, his face impassive. <sighs> that wasn't a dream. That was something else. It was a vision. I saw some sort of machine inside the walled city. It was churning something. It felt wrong, impossible. I think it was ripping. I, I don't know. Reality, it was ripping a hole in reality. Something is here, my friends. Something has arrived. I believe we have just fallen in over our heads. What the hell was that thing, Raymond? No answer. Wu spins fun Raymond cowering, his head in his hands, shuddering and weeping. He's here! Who's here, Raymond? The queen. The queen with a thousand teeth! I left prosperity in there. I left prosperity in there. I left prosperity in there. Uh-oh. Looks like Raymond's gone bye-bye. Shh, stop it. Take it easy, Ray. You're with me, Crabapple. So, Crabapple, you came. Are, are we in the subway? Why is he stuttering? He's not. I used to stutter. And this doesn't sound like a stutter to me. Something else is going on. Could be the visions. Could be the aborted brain surgery. Or some combination of the two. Something, something bad is happening. It began a long time ago. And I am responsible. The queen for prosperity. Queen with a thousand teeth. These dreams, visions, they've been coming to you for a long time, haven't they? Yes, oh yes, I've been plagued by the nightmares for a, a long time. They began years ago, sporadically at first. Vague dreams, wrapped tight with guilt, with shame. Until this last year, when the, the frequency began to increase. Then the imagery clarified, started to repeat teeth thousands and thousands of teeth and the sound the sounds of suffering began to drown out even my waking thoughts that's when i knew i had to come back to do what to correct a mistake i made a long time ago my fault prosperity all those people those poor poor people yeah, the Prosperity Project. You know about prosperity? <sighs> yeah, sort of. We already covered this, Ray. We know that it's the center of the walled city, and that Edward Sang built it. 
Yeah, start from the beginning, Ray. Tell us what this is about. The beginning. Yes, yeah, sometime in the 20s, my mother was awarded the, the... The contract. The contract to rebuild the housing development. The walled city. Uh, well, from the results, I'd say your mom kind of blew it. Prosperity failed. I told you, the walled city wasn't the prosperity project. Prosperity was the fortune and an engine I built at the center of the walled city. My special project. Fortune engine? What are you talking about? You can't create fortune, Raymond. You kind of can, Gancho. Some practitioners of feng shui believe they can do it. Ever heard of the Bagua of the Eight Inspirations? No, Gobbin. I must have skipped school that day. Uh, yeah, me too. But I don't really... Uh, sure, sure, tell me, Gobbin. It. It's Neo Feng Shui. The masters of the craft can map the flow of key and how it corresponds to different aspects in someone's life. Fame, relationships, creativity, inner knowledge, health, and fortune. That's six. Now that you said there were eight aspects. Yeah, I don't remember the other two, but one of them was definitely fortune. So what does your fortune engine do? The fortune engine was designed to improve the balance of key in a negative key environment. A negative key environment. Somewhere crappy, like a slum. Like a low-income housing project. I believe that with the fortune engine, the rebuilt walled city might never become a slum. But the machine, it malfunctioned. How so? The mechanism I created to circulate negative key in the walled city, it... it got stuck. Stuck on what? Raymond rises slowly, pulling himself from his crumpled heap. His tone turns instructive, the old Raymond, but this time the explanation is halting and weary. Think of the fortune engine as a sort of propeller blade moving through... Through astral space, circulating key, keeping it fresh. When key flows, when the rhythm is right, the results are positive, fortuitous. When I brought my design for the fortune engine to my mother, she embraced it. She more than embraced it, she bankrolled it, put an entire division of Sang Medit Mechanical under me to develop it. Sounds like a big bet. The biggest of her career. Mother said that if the machine could bring fortune to the less fortunate, it would prove my theory. And if it could help the poor, imagine what a fortune engine could do for Josephine. That's not what happened, though, is it? Something went wrong. The people in the walled city didn't benefit from your fortune engine, did they, Ray? <laughs> yeah, why didn't it work? What went wrong? What went wrong? What went wrong? No, let's be nice. Uh, why didn't it work? It it got stuck. The mechanism I created to circulate negative key in the walled city got stuck. Stuck on what, Raymond? It said stuck on what? something in astral space. I I wasn't sure what. Uh, that sounds bad. The machine started pooling negative key, and the walled city started to fill with it. Fortunes turned bad. I've been in places where the feng shui was really bad. That's not what I felt when I was in the walled city. No, key needs to flow. Eventually, the enormous pool of negative key became toxic. Fortunes turned from bad to worse. Much worse. Mother's vision for a rebuilt, revitalized walled city fell to ruin. 
It only took a few years for the trapped toxic key to turn a brand new housing development into a, a hellish slum. Now why didn't you turn it off? I, I couldn't. Something happened. Part of the malfunction. We couldn't turn it off. Then why didn't you just blow it up? Wrap it in C6 and turn it into a scrap heap. Mother refused. Why? I never found out. She wouldn't tell me. She would only say it wasn't worth spending the additional resources to figure out how to fix it. Or even how to turn it off. She sealed off the maintenance room. Our engineers poured a sarcophagus of thick concrete around it so no one would ever find it. Ever find out what we had done. Then she wrote the project off as a business loss and moved on like nothing had happened, right? Yes, after that I left Hong Kong. Started a new life in Seattle. Found you two. You should have stayed. Tried to do something about it. You were a coward, Raymond. Yes, yes, Duncan, I was a coward. And the guilt, the burden of my cowardice gripped me like a vice that never loosened. It's eaten me from the inside for twenty years. And then the nightmares began. Horrible. Still, I kept working on the problem day and night. Okay, that's why you were always working in the morning. Yes, it took me years, even after you left, to make the connections, find what to do. But I did. I figured it out, and still the nightmares intensified until they became unbearable. I knew I had to come back, fix what I had done. That's why I contacted you, to help me see it through. Yeah, what's causing the visions? When the machine malfunctioned, when the circulator becomes stuck, became stuck in astral space, it lodged in another domain, and something lived there. Not good. After 20 years of constant force, the circulator finally began tearing astral space. Created a rupture in her domain. And now she's pushing through. And now she's pushing through. And now she's pushing through. Yeah, she's pushing through all right. The queen with a thousand freaking teeth. A thing you brought here, Raymond. I understand that, Mr. Wu. That's why I came back. I believe she's only partially here. She hasn't pushed all the way through yet. She's probing her new hunting ground. Must... I know what to do. I know how to extract the circulator. Shut the machine down before she can. Fully manifest. Just get me to the center of the walled city, to the fortune engine. I will do the rest. Please, help me. Help them. Uh. Uh, is this first option while quite nice? I don't think... I don't think we should be comparing our mistakes as kids to this sort of colossal screw-up. Yeah, there's there's a thing in there. It needs to be sent home. Let's go with that. It's not just a thing to plague. It's a Yama King, a demon goddess. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can go back in there. We're trapped, Is. We can't run. And believe me, I want to. That's all I've been thinking of. But the APB is still out on us, and those visions? I got a feeling they're not going to stop unless we make them stop. And that fragile old man's the only way to do it. We've got to take him in there, Is. 
We've got to help them fix this. See, Alex, this is this is why I think it's uh, Isabel, like pronounced in a normal way because they shorten it to I Z Z, and that just doesn't make sense to me if it's uh, Isobel or something like that. It's clearly just Isabel, but in like leap speed, because Decker. <laughs> Oh, I for one wish to see this fortune engine. I am intrigued. I willingly go. <laughs> I have the opportunity to kill a god. I cannot allow the opportunity to pass unanswered. I hate this country. I hate this life. But I owe you, Raymond. I'm not walking away from that. I intend to make us even. I hope you fix your mess or die trying. Okay, so let's not take, uh, is, she seemed to really not want to go. Maybe we don't take Gob either, maybe we take Gaichu and Raptor. Ooh, that's a lot of karma. We can finally max out our drones. Heck yeah. Um, let's see. Which one do I my extra points on? I only have seven points left. We could go ahead and get um, some more. That's weird. Oh yeah, close combat. We could get some melee attacking ability and grab a melee weapon somewhere. I wish we could go ahead and get this round ass kick. I don't have enough points. I don't know anything in ranged combat, so it'll be a complete waste of time to do anything there. Oh, uh, I'll just leave it at that. Let's see what sort of melee weapons we can purchase. It's all this blood. What the hell happened here? Okay, there's lots of dead folks. How are we doing for an alien? Yeah, I think we have enough to get any cool cyberware. weapons out here, or just ranged weapons? Show me the goods. Wow. Yeah, I don't know who to buy melee weapons. drugs.
How you doing, Matthew? No, Matthew's even there anymore. How about you, uh, shaman lady? How are you? It turns out you are absolutely useless. Where is someone I can buy a melee weapon from? Is there one hiding uh, with Chang, maybe? Monty? Oh, I can't even visit the parlor. What did you say? There? Oh, you were the melee guy, right? From what you got. Yeah. So, we can't get our close combat up that high, but... Uh, can we get it to five? I don't think that we can. We have it, what, three right now? We can most get it to four. Yeah, okay. Actually, I did you have armor? I think we're already wearing uh, an 8 armor armor. Oh, can I can't sell you stuff? I think I have like a whole bunch of crap I can sell. No one can use this. Here. What would I even buy if I sold a bunch of stuff, though? So we're keeping this. This was really good for Duncan. I think we are bringing Duncan. Can Ractor maybe use this? Range Combat 4 and a Smart Link. We know he has a Smart Link, so... Yeah, maybe we'll just leave it. Nothing really for us to grab that makes sense. Cool, I guess let's save and then uh, press forward. Thank goodness we are out of there. You have anything else to say, Raymond? Raymond and Wu stand near each other in the rain, staring at the walled city silently. You, you look like you have something on your mind, Mrs. Wallace. Are you going to be okay? I, I don't think so, no. I am the product of aborted brain surgery. That, combined with all that has happened, I, I doubt I'll ever be okay. I've no idea when... I will break. 
And although I'm relieved you rescued me before my memory was wiped, part of me grieves at the thought that I could have been free from all this. I bet those people in the Walled City wish they could be free from all this, too. Yes, indeed. But they are proof people can adapt to the harsh circumstances. I will learn to live with this hardship, like they have. I think we're all learning a lot here. For example, Crabapple and I learned you're a genius who can create magical machines. We learned you have a rich, powerful mother on the ruling council of Hong Kong who kidnapped you to reprogram your brain. And we learned that the two of you are responsible for the suffering of thousands. Pretty big score from my perspective. Did I get everything, Crab Apple? He has risked his life to try and fix it. Come on. That's just it. He can't fix it. You realize you can't fix it, right, Edward? You can't erase 20 years of misery and suffering. The best you can hope for is to return the unnatural part of it. Allow that horrible slum to be horrible without toxic key or whatever. You're not going to push the make it all better button. You got better idea, Don? No. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to be like him. I'm not going to run. I did what I did to help people, Mr. Wu. And when I couldn't help them anymore, I left and I continued helping people in Seattle. In that team center, in that slum I took you from. Or did you forget where you were from? I didn't forget, little man. How could I? With you reminding us of it every chance you get. Now you saved a poor little Chinese boy. After you ran from the thousands who looked just like him. My motivations for helping you aren't relative, Duncan. Look at you, the results are what count. I know, Edward. Your motivations for building that machine aren't relevant here either. The results are what counts. Oh, come on, you two. Yeah, we just gotta stop that engine. Yes, you're right. We need to... what we can do. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Five people, all reeking of triad, huddled together next to your crew, muttering among themselves and pointing at the towering slum. One of them notices you and pats another on the chest with the back of his hand. It's the man who's been guarding the walled city entrance since you arrived in Hiyoi. He acknowledges you, a look of doomed determination on his face. Mrs. Chang sends her regards. She told us to keep an eye out for you. Yeah, what for? Miss Chang wants to know what the hell's going on inside the Wad City. They sent us to find out and report back to her. She said if we saw you heading in there, we should go with you. We'd have a better chance of staying alive. Yeah, maybe. Hey, if we can take care of ourselves, but Miss Chen said to follow your orders, so that's what we're doing. We need to provide for our families. A group of triads nod to each other in forlorn unity as they take in the panic around them. The storm, the flood of people, the towering tenement, and something else. A wave of something emanating from within. Do you feel that? It's like the walled city's bad breath or something. It's disgusting. I don't know. I feel... Unclean, just looking at the place. Like life has no value or something. Like there's just no point to anything. That's the toxic key. And it's exactly the point. We need to get rid of it. Fix it at the source, if I can. The fortune engine is located at the heart of the walled city. That's where I need to go. 
I'll drop a marker in the center of the walled city on everyone's PDA. Leg. We should be able to weave our way through it to the machine. Yeah, Raymond was the best route. Yeah, 20 years since I stepped foot inside. It wasn't nearly this size then. I've got no idea how to get to it now. Only where we need to go. We can take advantage of the chaos. It may cover our approach in case someone's trying to stop us. We should split up. Keep Raymond back and out of harm's way. Look around, Gun Show. This whole place is in harm's way. It'll be safer if we split up. Plague leads some of us to clear the way to the machine. Auntie's men can follow with the rest of us, escorting Raymond once the way is secure. Sure. Both teams use your comm to stay in touch. We have no idea what we're going to face in there. I'll be right behind you, Crabapple. Take care of yourself. <sighs> it's not about me, it's about all these people. If you want to help people, then stay alive. I need you to clear my path to... to... to the machine. Go time. Gaichu Raptor. Uh, and we'll take Gobbit. Duncan, you stay back with, uh, with Raymond. Yeah. Hopefully we don't need a dagger. Confirm. The typhoon pours down as the triad soldiers fan out in front of you, leading the way into Kowloon Walled City. Raymond shuffles along, alert and intent, although exhausted by all that has gone on. He drives himself forward and will not accept help from anyone. Wu watches the windows and rooftops, his rifle never leaving his shoulder. He occasionally risks a glance at his foster father. Concern, frustration, and anger playing over his face like a slideshow. The walled city is even worse than in your first visit. Even with the rain, you can feel something in the air. It's thicker now, and it clings to your skin like invisible filth. The miserable noises of slum life are gone, replaced by something worse. The sound of death. The sounds of fear. As you round a corner, the group stops before heading in deeper. Alright. Do I need to take another med kit? Oh no, I have two med kits already. I need to take another res. Sure, I guess Gobbit can use the stair. And actually, um, Rack doesn't have another inventory slot, so... That's fine. There's a drone kit, Rector. Gaichu can have a res, another. Actually, no, Ractor needs one. Ractor needs res. Uh, Gobbit can have a salve and a fire fetish.
he'll get you another med kit and another res. I don't think flashbangs will probably be super effective against what we're going to be fighting. So yeah, we'll just stock up on lots of med kits. Life siphon to oh no, no, those are mage things. And she does I guess have some mage things. Yeah, she doesn't have a spell casting for anything else. Cool. Let's go. The inner walled city. What you've seen in your dream feels tame by comparison. The atmosphere is humid with the oppressive weight of despair. You can feel it bearing down on your shoulders, whispering for you to give up, lie down, await your miserable fate. Your skin feels oily and unclean. We're finally here, finally past the trash heap that encrusts this place. You look way better now, Ray. He reaches out and touches a duraplast wall. The paint has long since chipped away, but what remains is enough to tell you what you're looking at is the original exterior of Kowloon Walled City. It looks much sturdier than the ramshackle construction that's grown up around it. This is what Mother and I built, but was supposed to help people. All that we wanted was to help. Very poetic. Now let's move. I'm done with the talking. I don't want to spend a second longer in this place than I have to. Even this is a nightmare now. Decrepit and rotten and falling apart. It was supposed to be a good place. A, a safe place. Yeah, well it isn't. And we know whose fault that is, don't we? Yes, and that's why I have to fix it. Crab Apple, you need to clear me a path to the sarcophagus that surrounds the fortune engine. It will be at the center of all this. Please. Please help me fix this. I can't do it by myself. That's the plan. Thank you. You cut a path like the man said. I'll go with kindly soldiers on the B team. We'll escort Ray via side streets. Keep him safe until we can regroup. I'll get him there. Yeah, take care of yourself too, Dom. Let's just get this done. Get there safe. Best of luck. Which is actually kind of impossible because of the whole bad luck machine thing, but uh, you get what I mean. Break a leg. Come on, Seattle. We've got a filthy slum to save from an evil demon god. Also, I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. Alright. I want that sarcophagus. Stop right there, criminal scum. A group of yellow Lotus 49ers is holding this entrance. Their leader, a dumpy female elf with chipped teeth and a buffant hairdo, stumbles toward you. You! You! Drop your guns and get down on the floor! Ooh, she shakes her head from side to side as if trying to clear it. 
A pair of bloodshot eyes roll in their sockets without reason or purpose. Drop everything or we'll tear you like pigs. Stand down, we're with kindly. Chang. Chang. Her time is done. We have a new queen now. Okay. Sure. Four enemies? So who's the most dangerous? A soldier, a mage, a soldier, a sniper. Get into metal stamps. Let's get this guy. Okay, Gaichu will focus on the sniffer. God, I have so many more AP now. Awesome, four AP. There, my friend. And get by some cover. Punch my robot. Okay, get you. We cannot let her get away. Bluebell Kudagara next round. Uh, repair. Please repair this drone. Sweet. 
coup de gras. Goodbye. Well, it kind of sinks that we had to kill them, but. And them's the brakes. What is this? Turrets. Do you have any thoughts on this, Raptor? It's a rudimentary, poorly secured, shoddy handiwork all around. To be fair, this shouldn't come as a surprise, given how quickly Tsang's people must have thrown this up. If they were really smart, they would have entered a... Let's have it good. That we can feel useful. A slender woman stands a few meters in front of you in an extravagant coat. Behind her, there's another woman approaching at a trot wearing ballistic armor. Okay. Hey, you there! You heard us. Clear the area and do it now. The inner blocks are off limits to non sang personnel. My apologies. I got a bit lost. I'm not really familiar with this area. It's... that's okay, but... Don't you try it on me. You make one more sound and I'm gonna... With the motion that's too quick to follow, the hooded figure lashes out, grabbing the sign guard around the waist. She bats the startled woman's weaponry away with her other hand and lunges forward, sinking her teeth into her... Oh, is this our vampire friend? A spray of arterial blood fills the air and the guard's body goes limp. Yeah, it is. The hooded figure lets the sang security officer's body crumple to the floor. She sweeps back her hood very dramatically and dabs at her lips with her handkerchief. Ku Feng, pleasure to see you again. The pleasure's all mine. You're right on time, by the way. Apologies for the mess. Like eating soup dumplings, the liquid winds up getting everywhere, no matter how careful you try and be. I did not expect to hear your voice again, Queen of Repos Bay. Not since we concluded our lessons. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to help you, of course, and to bask in the misery of the walled city. It's quite intoxicating, you know. The poisonous energy of this place, and of the... And of the being at the center of it all. I'm surprised you can't feel it yourself. You seem to be doing well. I get by. In any event, let's get down to business. I have a question for you. The thing that's arrived here, this Yama King, to use the local parlance. What are your intentions for it? Oh. Well, I, I am willing to talk to it, if that's what you're asking. I mean, it's, yeah, it's here causing mayhem, but also, like, for the last 20 years, we've had, like, a big machine tearing apart its realm, so I'm assuming it's got good reasons to be upset with us. But it wasn't. I was wondering whether you planned to kill the thing. Only if it makes me. I suppose I will have to do. I'll help you. The energies that your Yama King secretes are quite delicious. I can only imagine they will become more so at the moment of her death. I'm betting that you will, or that you'll try to at least. We, sh we shall see. Oh, so I thought that she would want me to maybe spare the horrible monster Yama King because, you know, it's another monstrous being like her and we gave her um a second chance so so i would have thought she'd want to apply a second chance to other uh creatures of the night or whatever but uh, i guess not she just wants some of that tasty yama king blood
I am a ghoul, a despised cannibal, and yet I have not attempted to eat anyone on this team in all of our time together. Fu Feng will be much the same. If you cannot trust her, trust me. Yeah, I've got no problem. I don't know why Gather is. Achievement unlocked. Monster Squad. Heck yeah. Uh, let's do some more exploring, though. We can't leave yet. Hey, calm down. <laughs> a lithe orc with a prominent jaw stands here, growling. Her neck tattoos mark her as a red pole in the yellow lotus, and the patches on her vest call her out as a resident of the lotus den. Wanna bet that's Bow's replacement? Looks like the type. A smaller, lankier man cowers before her, his hands clasped in supplication. A group of yellow Lotus 49ers stand clustered around them, smirking their weapons drawn. <coughs> you heard me, dog. You want to live, you give me the shit. Otherwise, I'm going to rip off your fingers and shove them down your throat. Please, Song, I can't give you what you're looking for. There are plenty of people in the Wob City who have a lot more to steal than I. Five, four, three. Look, I don't want any trouble. I've got no quarrel with you. And I don't have any to... Um... Yeah, leave him alone. You know what's good for you? You'll turn around and run. Your call. I'm not going to give her money. Yeah, it's clean in time. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Did we bought off more than we can chew? I'm dead. Uh, okay. Good thing we brought a lot of reses. I got one hit. That is... Insane. I am very fragile, I forgot. Ooh, but we have a vampire. Oh, she has, like, fart breath. Missed. Oh, come on. Look if she hits hard at least. Go Shay. Rip and tear this fella. Okay, got it. Oh. Well. 
Okay, got it safe now. Okay. Mm, okay, we need to take out that guy. Wait, why can't we attack him? Oh, we had coup de grace like this. Kneecap, please. Ship a rock. Oh, okay. Got you. I've got you another action. Nice. I'm a vampire, blue. walk out there. Thank you for your help. What are you doing in the Walled City at a time like this? You're on business. <laughs> I see. Yeah, do you know anything about what's happening here? Not much. Just that things are bleak. I'm doing my best to stay out of it. But they're saying officers, trads, and residents everywhere. It's like swimming through people's soup. But I don't know why. I just know that something big must be going on to warrant all this madness. Hey, what's your name, dude? Uh, I, I'm sorry, but now isn't the time for us to be sharing personal details. I've seen your name on Bounty that's supposed to in the Shadowland. Demolanta. I didn't realize the word my bounty was so easy to stumble across. Bad news for me. I'm in a pinch. No, more like a vice. I've made it my mission to bring down the corpse. With this bounty on my head, it's getting harder and harder to dodge the people who want to cash me in. That's why I'm here in this crap all of a city. The corporations have to pay for what they've done. Please, don't turn me in. Yeah, you saying it's strange? Some of the locals acting off. Okay. Yeah, show me your wares. Oh, Dan will buy another one of these. Yep, can I 
I saw stuff. We're never gonna use that. And we're never gonna use these. Okay, let's talk with the uh, grocery. A tall, well-groomed man with jet black hair leans casually against his fruit stand. His hard features suggest he hasn't smiled in a long time. But his demeanor isn't cold, only cautious. He appears less interested in watching his wares and more interested in watching people. Fresh fruit, you here to buy? I might be. You can call me Yang. What are you looking to buy? Soya? Mycoprotein? Calf? They got a whole cartload of project products. Yeah, tribes were rolling some vendors earlier. How'd they miss you? Uh, they didn't miss me. They probably just know better than to mess with one of their top earners. You're an enforcer. <laughs> Not so much. I, uh, acquire things. Often for the triads. Some of for former clients. Some of for new ones. The name's Yang, but the people around here call me Steel Drake. The triads think of me as a tool to be used. Undemitable. Undemitable. Tight-lipped. Efficient. That works for me. Let them believe they have the upper hand. I give them good rates on my halls, and from time to time, even fence them hardware from my side jobs. If you're interested, I've got fresh inventory, special products for people of a more underground persuasion. Sweet. Uh, well, I don't need weapons. And your armor sucks. Yep. Nope. Nothing good. What about you, medical vendor? Yeah, you Show me what you got. And she should probably get out of there if she knows what's good for her, but as a medical vendor, it's probably important that she stayed. Because I think there's going to be a lot of people in need of her services here. Did we already explore everything else? I think so. Ah, dead body. Enter the mid ring. Good. Crab apple, what is your status? Um. Yeah, there's a cordon around the Innerwald city we just got through. That's a cordon? Oh my, how did you get through? We had to take him down. <sighs> Too much, too much loss of life because of me. Unfortunate. Please, Crab Apple, try to avoid more casualties. You need to be careful. The nearer you draw to the fortune engine, the worse the astral disruptions will become. And make sure that when you reach. The call cuts out. Hmm, a most inopportune moment to disconnect. Let's hope what Raymond tried to share isn't vital to our plans going forward. Can we reestablish contact? At this point, the only thing we can do is move forward. Lead the way, the fade. 
The walled city's mid-ring stands tall before you. It looks even worse than what you just trekked through. A jumbled nightmare of crumbling buildings and exposed wires. A terrible sense of deja vu washes over you. You put one foot in front of the other and press further inside. Okay, cam save. Um, okay, I guess they're running from something. Probably that thing. Ranged Servitor. We gotta protect people. Oh, I like how it tiptoes around. It's cute. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't be out. Got it. Can you heal me, please? I kind of made it so we can't get to it, but now. Oh, he's a sleepy boy. Just one of them goes down pretty easy, so... The crowd is in a frenzy. They're shouting, screaming at the Tsang security officers who block their progress. A dead body lies in a rapidly expanding pool of blood at their feet. Oh, they've already shot one of these poor bastards. Any second now, they're gonna open up on the rest. I've seen enough rights to know. They always end the same way. Sang security arrived here in force about an hour ago. They have been cordoning off streets and pushing people out ever since. It looks like they're trying to take control of the inner walled city, but the desperate poor have them outnumbered a thousand to one. The inevitable massacre should begin any second now. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's get up and, uh, to protect them. I'm warning you, clear the area now! Please, this is our home. Our families are still inside. This is for your own good. We are here to protect you. You can't be here. Back away. This is your last warning. Intervene. Oh, as you resurrect... Uh, damn it. We're not in time. Stop it. We're not able to save anyone, are we? There's... Okay, there's still some people. Holy cow. Get this guy. Why am I in water stance? No, I, I'm all metal. Okay, we have two sleepy boys. Go drain this guy. Dang. 
Oh, yeah, you don't have to do a whole lot, Raptor. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, get out, folks. We saved some of you. <laughs> Got you, you got a coup de gras. A detonator. So they have a door there. What's this cool pathway? No, nothing. Sure. It ran away? Okay then. You hear the muffled sounds of shouting coming from the west. Multiple voices all calling out for something. You can't make out what they're saying, but they sound like they're in a panic. Great, another of those things. I can't say I'm thrilled with the prospect of wading deeper into their territory. I have concerns is what I'm saying. Yeah, buckle up. Mm -hmm. uh, so where does that door lead? Enter the center of the world city. No, we have to help people. I'm gonna say. Yeah, we have to help these people. A pack of wild-eyed civilians are trapped behind this makeshift barricade. You can hear them speaking, a maddening stew of slurred words and strange noises, all mixed together into an unintelligible stew. Some appear to be crying, others are clearly wounded. A group of sighing officers surround the gibbering civilians. They're clearly agitated, some as wild-eyed as the people they're accosting. Their body language takes you back to the corporate prison and the years that you spent incarcerated there, there. This was what it looked like when the guards were about to remove an inmate from the gene pool. Tend up as they are, the civilians will be helpless to fight back. Unless someone lets them out of their cage, they're as good as dead. Ugh. Like, these people do look like insane people, but... At the same time, like, should we just let the guards mow them down? What do you suggest? Take a closer look.
Yeah, it's going to make us take way longer to get this done. Do it. Explosions deafening. Waves of concussion crash into you from both sides as the bridge and the barricade disappear in gouts of flame. You stagger, and the civilians on the other side of the wall do the same. The security troops that were threatening them barely manage to stand their ground. Disperse, dang it! Get back, or we'll open fire! This is your last warning! The crowd moves as one, lurching forward with maniac grins on their faces. The leader, a skeletal man in his early twenties, allows his lips to part. He doesn't have a tooth in his head, and his tongue is missing. Oh, no. So who are we fighting here? Just the guards or everyone? I guess Ku Fang was right. I'm just going to reload. I should have known. Come on, game, please. Don't do this. Whew. Press forward. I feel bad, but I guess there was no option there. You've been walking with what feels like hours, picking your way through the claustrophobic alleys of the inner walled city. It feels like you're traversing a war zone. Dead bodies litter the gutters. Some have been gutted by gunfire. Others have suffered stranger and more terrible wounds. The rattle of distant automatic weapons fire rings in your ears, intermingling with faint screams of agony and terror. With every step we take, the astral pollution of this place grows stronger. A difficult road to walk, even for me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, on the bright side, uh, you got to fight Ayama King. Yeah, we can't keep the malevolent demon god waiting. As you watch, one of the officers loses his cool, start chatting. She's here for us! I've seen her in my dreams! What is here? I don't know what you're talking about, dang it. <laughs> The security officer lurches toward his partner, his eyes bulging, his body language makes you think of a wounded animal. Panicked, terrified, ready to lash out at anything within reach. He shakes his head like a wet dog and focuses on the woman beside him. I know how to keep us safe. I saw how to do it. Open your mouth. You're crazy, man. Keep away from me. I mean it. Get back up. Who has gone insane? Yeah, just gotta rip, rip out everyone's teeth. This is for best, Yang. Trust me. I'll do you first, then I'll do me. By the time I'm done, she won't be able to hurt us anymore. Okay, let's try and help out.
this the one that's insane? Same one has a lot of armor. Okay, Koshe, you have to rip and spare, my friend. Wait, they're fighting each other? Okay, they're all fighting each other. just like kill that one guy who was insane with the pliers and leave the others alive but I guess not. Gobbit, can you paste on, um, gotcha. More signs to carry up the head, but these ones are different. They're outfitted in heavier armor, carrying heavier artillery. They look just as addled as everyone else you've seen in this deep in the slum, though. They hold their weapons leveled at a doorway leading to the inner walled city. Great, more heavily armed nutjobs. What are they? 
hear a deafening crash from the direction of the walled city. The noise is followed by an alien piping sound unlike anything you've ever heard. At the sound of it, Fang troops start screaming. Their faces have gone, gone gray as ash. You catch a glimpse of something moving toward you, something fast that seems to defy gravity as it runs. You have a split second to process this new information before the gunfire starts. Or do we just watch them get murderized? I like how twitchy these guys are. attacking from all the way over here. No, don't focus on us, focus on those things. These ones armor themselves and are, I guess, melee. I'm assuming. A vampire. Blur him. Cover. I should have just left her there, but Bring in our heavy artillery, long range mortar, and we go for this guy actually. Oh. Ow. Oh, 
Wait, that's not too bad. Again, you guys shouldn't be focusing on me, though. I want to see how these melee things do. bit of a waste, but we have so little health on our main character, we might as well. Oh man, why did the rigger go like front and center there? to help these guys. What was that sound? Oh my god, punching one of these? What sort of madness is this? Okay, got you, uh, coup de gras.
gonna hurt Gaichu, but... That's okay, I wouldn't heal him. Achievement wouldn't want to be that guy. I wonder what that was for. Drone on drone violence. Unsuccessful drone on drone violence. Where'd that other melee servitor go? Surely he didn't die. Oh, sorry, Ghost I didn't mean to send you in there. I'm an idiot. Do I need to repair any of the drones? How are they all? Here, how about repair? Oh boy. Sorry, Raymond. We had to do a little bit more murdering. There was no other option. City of Death. Local, local, some loot or something. Well, we're probably gonna fight this guy. As you pass into the hallway, Kung Fei, Ku Feng, uh, brushes up alongside you. I'm afraid we're going to part ways here with the plague. The negative energy of this place has grown a little too strong for my liking. I'm drinking a Yama King. Yes, well, that seemed like a good idea when I said it. For the truth be told, it is all getting to be a little bit much for me. I really like it a lot better when I'm the only all-powerful monster queen in the building. Yeah, don't we all? Um... Yeah, where's your sense of adventure?
sorry if my decision disappoints you, but at the end of the day, I really don't have a horse in this race. Why should I care if Kianya wants to rule a filthy slum? There's no skin off my back. I've got Repulse Bay to look at. Uh, I mean, I guess. Um, hmm. That doesn't seem to do anything. A sobbing middle-aged man amidst a pile of bodies. He is dressed in a cheap suit with a bright yellow tie, but the fabric's been smeared with blood. Leave me alone! Go away! Ugh. Can't let them find me. Can't let them catch me. I have to hide from them. From her! Can't get free. Can't get clean. When my eyes close, I see them there, twitching, shaking like broken things. Please, please help me. I sent to scramble his brains. M might be Ben. Finding like lots more like little spelling grammatical issues this this far into the game. It's a little bit disheartening. Might be been Kian, Kian Ya or her servants, or maybe just the stress. Either way, there isn't much we can do. Yeah, I've seen those uh, twitchy things. Drooling fire and pissing blood. Huh. Okay. Yeah, the best way I can help you is stop all this. Blood. The sound of the typhoon hammering down outside is nearly drowned out by the noise of evacuees fleeing their ordeal. The air smells of fear and bodily fluids, thrums with a bass note of expectation and doom. You pause here for a moment in the eye of the hurricane. Ahead, the cancerous core of the walled city and its concrete encased fortune engine await. We still have not heard from your foster father. Perhaps he is dead. The fuck you, got you. Very comforting, thanks. Good, I would rather not have a showdown with a demon goddess. Shutting down that machine sounds much easier. I thought you were really excited about killing a god. Let's continue clearing a path. Make it easy for him to follow. <sighs> yeah, the heart of the city. The deafening rattle of machine gun fire fills the air behind you, and the metallic tang of blood cuts through the stench of garbage. You press forward, wading through block after block of insanity, chaos, and death. All around you, the walled city is descending into a churning cauldron of depravity and violence. The calm's of no use. You've tried several times, 
but there's still no word from the B-team. No sign of Raymond or Kindly Cheng's triad soldiers. Finally, you reach the center of this hellhole, an industrial latch. An industrial hatch, even, with its door ajar. This is the place where Raymond Black built his infernal machine. The threshold across which Kianya, the queen with a thousand teeth, clawed her way into this world. Sure. The walls here are thick, steel reinforced. Braids of thick cable run across the floor, the, 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 the floor and computer equipment. Now, hopelessly out of date. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Something in the distance is calling to you. It's faint, but you can feel it. The bone-shaking thrum of an enormous machine. Um, okay. Huh, prosperity. It looks like this is the place. I, uh, I don't like it here. Rat doesn't like it here. But I guess that the fortune engine's somewhere ahead, right? Yeah, I don't want to be here either. Prison was better than this, but we've got, we've got a job to do. The machine lies ahead, yes, but so does our quarry. I can smell it. The stench of something from another place. Let us advance and meet this Yama King head on. I will paint the walls with her blood. Sure. Uh... Plug the edges. I'm sure some bad awaits us in the middle of that room. Oh, make it. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Whoa. Am I missing something else? I don't know. Prosperity. Inspect. Okay, we have a little summoning thing. A terminal. What's down here further? Oh, there's still like... Oh. Like this area is kind of nice looking still. I mean, it's in the middle of the rain, but... Like this dust and stuff still look pretty sweet. How is this place still in like such good looking condition? Like, if this has been just an abandoned area of, like, a crowded slum, then shouldn't this be, like, filled with, like, places where people were living? Like, there's a huge amount of space of just, like, yeah, everyone just sort of left it alone. The terminal winks to life at your approach. It's still drawing power, promising... This terminal is not password locked. The display looks corrupted, but I suppose that might still be usable. As long as we can open the door. Sure, let's find out. Hmm. Looks like it's, uh, has been definitely corrupted a little bit. Test bed, door. Unfortunate. Perhaps the issue is mechanical. I could take a look. 
Suddenly, out of nowhere, a wave of nausea grabs you by the guts and twists. It doubles you over, then fades. What was... As you straighten, you can feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand up straight. A buzzing sensation washes over you, drowning out your companion's words and filling your head with white, warm static. In the center of the room, something blossoms into the world. Oh. The figure from your dreams looms over you, enormous and alien. The creature's beautiful and terrifying in equal measure. A thing of billowing silk and carved ivory. Kyanya stands, still as a statue, peering down at you from behind a mask of sculpted gold. Smaller spirits take up positions around her, bowing their heads in deference. Well, crap. That is a lot bigger than I expected. Slowly, with a broad, languid motion, Kyanya's body begins to shift. The crescent-shaped ivory horns that crown her head cut through the light as she moves, casting strange shadows on the wall behind her. You are here. You have the voice that pours from behind the thing's mask is indescribably beautiful. The tones are high and musical and seem to hang in the air long after she finishes speaking. You have come to us. In the corners of the room, servitor creatures echo their queen's words, the garbled sounds piping through gaps in their enamel-lined carapaces. Come to us. We called to you across the breadth of space and time. Now you are here, standing before us, just as you were meant to be. What did you call to me? We call to all who will listen. All are welcome in our court. All are welcome. And all are welcome in our larder. You belong here, slave thing, with us. Now and for all time. I'm here to make a deal with you. Wait, what? Yeah, that's my my thoughts, too. Such a thing could be arranged, perhaps, if you are worthy. How do I prove myself worthy? Your part is simple. You, you need only endure. It opens its arms to you, offering a view of the chisel-like teeth that protrude from its flesh. Saliva glints on bone-white enamel. All around you, the gibbering of the queen's servitors grows to a fever pitch. Ew. Jeez. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. The queen with a thousand teeth lowers her head, and the unnaturally thick air turns rank and cold. Waves of nausea rack your stomach as a foul wind slides over you like mud. You will be tested, meat. If you are found wanting, we will rip your nerves out at the root and gorge ourselves on your flesh. Prove yourself to us, meat. Prove yourself, or serve us forever. Okay. Um... So I'm guessing we shouldn't step in this barrier. Is is this fiery barrier being created by the candies? Let's hmm. Let's well, snuff out a candle if we can. Triggering nightmare. Unspeakable horror. Uh, 
Wait, I forgot they're really weak. At least those ranged ones are. Okay, maybe I need to just rely on the drones to turn off those candles, like, as quickly as possible. I don't know. Nice. Haste, got you. Cover. So do you. Because that's too far. That's too far. Sure, go over here. Oh, she's actually going to attack. Okay. I thought she was going to stand back and watch uh, our test. Oh, I love that little tiptoe. Okay, so these things glass cannons. We need to take them down ASAP. Who needs healing the most? Um. Oh, that was a bad choice. Oh well. Go Shay, take him out. Still overclocking. Oh, she resummoned. Okay, so we shouldn't even really be bothering with them. Okay, I've snuffed the candles. What's the plan now? <laughs> okay. Rip and tear. Damn it. You have a gun. I guess are we supposed to attack her? Oh, she's attacking us, I think. Heals. Oh, she's healing. Okay, maybe we should be focusing on her then. Oh no. My drones are in trouble. Okay, okay. Stop it, get over here. Sure. Let's melee this big, huge, freaking thing. Um, I can't 
it. Shamanic self. Oh, gotcha, you have to save my drone. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's stupid. I love my drones though. run away with main character. Got you. Take this thing out, please. Do it, my friend. Is there another small dude around here? No, they're all all dead, I think. Okay, awesome. Rip and tear. Nice. What can you do? Got it. Um, sure. I don't know what the point of that is, but it'll be a little bit better shooting you now. Oh, she's almost. As you watch, Kianya's blast marked and broken body begins to reform. Her gown knits itself back together black blood wicking onto the floor. Slowly, terribly, she begins to laugh. <laughs> you cannot kill us, meat. You have not seen us. This form is but a shadow, a droplet of divine essence filtered through a keyhole. She speaks the truth after a fashion. That crumpled thing is not Kyanya, any more than those servitor spirits are. They are small fragments of a single whole. The corpse eater sees. He glimpses us as we really are. Were you to behold our full magnificence, your mind would wring itself into a pulp. You will see, slave thing. We will show you a world not meant for mortal eyes. You will see. Uh, so I'm, am I not worthy yet? I need the hit points. Uh, we're doing health. Okay, that's a lot more health. Uh, Gaichu needs a small med kit. Not that small, this small. Gaichu. Confirm. Jeez. So, okay. I guess we have even more fight. What's this puddle on the floor? 
Welcome to our domain, domain meet. Okay, this is her teethy realm. Okay. So first things first. We need drones. I say we take out these behemoths. Oh no, we take out the range ones first and foremost. Yeah. Now, Rector, can you give me a little bit of a heal, maybe? So that you get into some cover and activate your drone. your acidic fog. No, why can't you do it on the queen? That's fine. It'll go there. Now we spread out. Because there are area of taps. Now help rip and tear this thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to retry this battle. A raptor, get back more. <laughs> Okay. 
that one's down. Back to you need to heal. Out of the stupid bog. Good, good boy. Yes, tank breath spirit. <laughs> Please don't die, Ghost Shay. <laughs> Prepare. Wait, why isn't, uh... Oh, I can't activate him, okay. He's sleeping or something. Got you, it's all on you, baby. Okay, got a tank. The plague, hide, please. <laughs> Drones go away. <sighs> I don't know. Am I still in metal stance? Let's just make sure I am. Okay, this is not taking away any of our AP. That's about. Okay, let's not go with that. 
water stamps. Ooh, ooh, I see you're like hanging intestines or whatever. Okay. Rip and tears, God. Okay, she's not like half elf. As long as she doesn't summon all of her goons again, I'm happy. Oh yeah, I forgot Kosha has auto repair. What happens if I, like, use my manual repair on him now? No, I can't even. Like at all hit, then I'd be happy. Okay, we did a little bit of damage. How do you actually? Can you wild aim on Gaichu? No? Oh no, you actually can't. Stare hog is so good. Let's do it, Gaichu. Heal a god. <laughs> or just miss. Oh, come on, she's so close. So Gaichu's asleep, but we don't need him. We've got this. As the Yama King's body crumples, a cackling sound fills the air. Once again, her broken body begins to knit itself back together. The flow of black ichor from her many wounds slows to a stop and reverses. The viscous fluid snaking its way back up into the holes and ruptures it poured from. <sighs> projections on top of projections. All aspects of our divine being shed as easily as a lizard sheds its tail. Um. You cannot harm us, meat, but you have amused us. Perhaps you are worthy of an audience after all. Perhaps. Oh, footsteps. Is the rest of the team finally here? You guys took your time. As he falls into position behind you, Duncan's jaw drops open. Raymond Black steps forward, an expression of grim determination on his face. Oh shit, she's real. He does his best to stand his ground as Kianya turns to face him, his voice full of awe and terror. I did this, I brought this creature here. My fault, my responsibility. It has returned to us. The Tunnel Builder, the architect of my ascendancy. 
Ascendancy. Where are the servitors? I don't see any servitors. The creature leans in toward Raymond, its spidery fingers weaving hypnotically. The thing's robes billow like the bell of a jellyfish, pulsing organically with the rhythm of a heartbeat. You will have a special place in our court, Builder. You will stand by our side, exalted for all time. A living token of our unending rule, and an undying symbol of the folly of man. I have been a fool, yes. Great fool, but I, I will not be your slave. I will stop you. The queen with a thousand teeth leans forward, her movements full of an alien grace. The gaping crescent of her mouth parts into a ghastly smile, and you can see row upon row of fangs. They run down her throat in overlapping layers, a bristling forest of glistening, sharpened enamel. Iron and honest with you. You are bold, me, but you are also correct. We do not break our promises, and you have earned some modicum of respect. Kianya turns her full attention back to you, and the smile widens. You can feel it, deep in your gut. It tunnels into you like a lamprey, leaves you feeling empty and cold. In truth, you amuse us. Your persistence in the face of the inevitable is a pleasure to behold. And so we have decided to grant you a rare honor. We offer you a deal. I'm listening. Our terms are simple. We want you to leave. Leave the chattel here to their fates. Forget about them. Acknowledge they are ours, and then think on them no more. Leave the walled city now, and do not return. Accept that it is our domain, now and forevermore. In exchange, we will grant you fourteen years of good fortune. Your every wish fulfilled, your every desire granted. A charmed life, from the moment you leave to the day that our deal elapses. You can do this. With a wave of our hand, we have swum the waters of fortune since the beginning of time. It is a trivial matter for us to divert them. So, will you accept our offer? Will you take the deal? I have questions. You may ask, but do not try our patience. To trifle with us would be a terrible mistake. I've done some research. There are other Yamakins, aren't there? Thousands, each unique in all the multiverse, each an inimitable form of life. You are one of many meat, interchangeable with others of your kind. We and our brethren are solitary, sovereign beings, demigods among beasts of the field. What do you intend to do with the people here? What any queen would, we intend to rule them. Some will be pressed into service within our court. Others will be livestock. Most will live out their lives as if nothing had changed. Okay. A counter proposal? Uh, again, this is not speech. This is action. It should be in braces and whatever. A counter proposal, you say? How amusing. Out with it then, meet. Tell us what you would have of us. You're going to leave. And tell us, slave thing, why would we do such a thing? What do you have to offer? Well, 
I won't kill her, sure. The meat threatens us. We're not impressed, but we're amused. It is time you learned a lesson, slave thing. We will teach you the price of impertinence. We will suckle your sorrow until the sun turns to dust. Okay. Oh, it's just her by herself, though. Oh, and we have the whole team! Heck yeah. Go team. Actually, got it. Can you heal catch you at all? No. Okay, Inferno. Let's go all in. Everyone who's melee, get in here. Everyone else, uh, get behind this wall. <laughs> No, we need to heal. Heal you. Um. How are we doing? How are we doing? She's a half. Oh, can we do this before she even gets an action? Oh my god. As you watch, the Yama King's broken carcass withers and dissipates. Seconds later, all that's left of her is a cloud of rancid mist. Huh, that was easier than I thought it'd be. I guess she was hurt worse than she let on, trying to trick us into taking a bad deal. Yeah, we just bought some time. Bought some time. It's just a projection. I believe that you're correct. The control console is just over there. We must move quickly. Let's do this. The fortune engine itself stands before you, an enormous, malevolent presence that fills the test chamber ahead. Raymond pushes forward, leaning in to study the control console with a look of determination on his face. I, I will close the rift. I just need... He bends over the terminal, frowning. Flies dart from readout to readout. As you watch, the blood drains from his cheeks. What's wrong? Destroy this thing before she comes back. I... I can't. There's a one-way flow of astral energy. Moving from the inner walled city through the tunnel. I know what it is. I can feel it too. The energy is coming from the people she's feeding on. Their essence, their spirits, for lack of a better word. If I destroy the machine now, it will collapse the tunnel. All of those people will have the better part of their essence. What makes them who and what they are. Trapped inside. With her. Forever. Thousands of people condemned to an eternity with that parasitic thing. Huh. Do we have any other options? Yes, yeah, someone could enter the tunnel, close the rift safely. The people would be saved, restored to life in the real world. And what happens to the person in the tunnel? He stays there forever. With her. There's no no way out once the tunnel is closed. I'll do it. Just tell me what buttons to press. No, if anyone is to do this, it must be me. It will be me. 
Hang on, Raymond. No, not Raymond. My name is Edward Sang. I built this machine. I set this avalanche in motion. Whether I meant it or not, it is my responsibility to stop it. That is what this is all about. What it's been about since the very beginning. Raymond, listen to me. You're too weak for this. Just tell me what to do. No, the Yama King could return at any moment. There is no time to teach you what to do in there. I must set things in motion. It must be me. Goodbye, Crabapple. Thank you for coming to Hong Kong. Thank you for coming when I called. I'm glad I did it. The old man flips the lever and steps into the machine. There's a flash of light, and Raymond Black is gone. Remember the day I took you and Duncan off the streets? I told you that the past is just a story. That if you can just accept that, your past loses all power over you. My past is a terrible story. I didn't expect it to end with redemption. Hope we get a little bit more of that. Well, I want to talk to kindly and I don't know. It's just going to end there. You depart from the prosperity chamber and are instantly caught up in a wave of refugees fleeing for their lives. Struggling through the panicked wave of humanity, you are able to retrace your steps and eventually reach Hioi. Although the typhoon has passed, the scene is wet and chaotic. The newly homeless crowd the streets, dazedly wandering, searching for missing loved ones and nursing industries injuries. Relief workers are already on the scene, providing blankets and medical aid. Rescue personnel carry the stunned and wounded to safety. The entire area has been cordoned off by the HKPF, while knight errant officers and the military peacekeeping force attempt to maintain order. You emerge from Kowloon Walled City to bustling clusters of activity. Refugees huddling together, staring back at their lost homes. Government troops deploying from armored personnel carriers, news vans setting up remote camera feeds while reporters scramble to find the right angle for their broadcasts. The air is electric with the threat of potential violence as panicked peacekeepers eye the growing crowd of evacuating poor. This place is hot. Cops are swarming the place, and that APB is still out on us. Yeah, try blending into the crowd. Not the best time for sightseeing the plague. The place is crawling with badges. Looks like we get to see a sheet. Uh, a show, though. That reporter already has his hooks in someone, hoping for a soundbite. And is that when you started running? Yeah, it was bad in there, shooting, screaming. I was terrified. And what caused this, sir? Why are people flooding out of the walled city injured and disoriented? It's like everyone's saying some sort of chemical leak, a drug lab exploded or something. It caused mass hallucinations. There you have it, Sonny. Our third report of mass hallucinations and violence caused by an explosion in an illegal drug lab. 
and while reports remain sketchy, it appears that street crime is again on the rise. As you can see, it's still turmoil and confusion here as police and executive council peacekeepers respond to the emergency situation, attempting to maintain order. But in all this chaos, in the maze of poverty that is Kowloon Walled City, we may never know what really happened in there. Back to you in the studio, Sonny. What are you looking at? Mass hallucinations, really? No, I don't believe that story. Am I wearing a t-shirt that says I'm a fool, feed me your line of corporate BS? No. But in my experience, the rest of the world is. Everything you see, everything you've been taught, every official you elect, all bought and paid for by the people pulling the strings. Yeah, well, no one's telling me what to think. <laughs> of course not, pal. You're different. Looks like you just came from inside. So tell me, what did you really see in there? The results of corporate greed. You had to go into the Walled City to see that. It's 2056. Greed is the little engine that makes the world go round. I'm sure this has something to do with some corporate experimenting on the people in the Walled City. It's like their little petri dish. They love using them like lab rats in there. They test food additives, body modifications, pharmaceuticals, whatever some junior exec can dream up. Nothing surprises me anymore. I can change that. <laughs> Good luck. You look like just the lady to do it. Hmm. Maybe I can make it worth your while to help. I think it's more worth my while to keep my job. I start babbling about government or corporate cover-ups on camera, and I'm finished. And I know plenty of guys who got the strength of the righteous and then mysteriously disappeared. Everyone on this island knows that my news service is just a mouthpiece for the Executive Council. Hell, if you look close enough, you'll probably find that it's owned by a member of the Executive Council. People buy what we feed them because the world's changing and it's scary. They feel small, they need scapegoats to blame and authority figures to tell them what to think. My news network gives them that. And there's a prime example of an authority figure. Joe Sang, rising star on the Executive Council. Just look at her spinning this to her own ends, talking about the humanitarian relief, relief effort she's mounting. You know? <laughs> go ahead and take your calm. I'm gonna go before the scene turns into some kind of riot. Riot. It usually does. There's the plague. I lost contact with the soldiers I sent into the walled city with you, and now these saying assholes and government troops are all over the place. Get over here and tell me what the hell happened. And yeah, what about the cops? Some mysterious benefactor lifted the APB on you. We'll talk more when you get here. <sighs> I want to sleep for about a year. I'm heading to the big Texas crab apple. I could use some sack time too. I'll see you there. You better go talk to Auntie Seattle. Okay. Let's watch the trade. Yes. And if you are just joining us, we're talking live with Councilwoman Sang from her office in Prosperity Tower. Councilwoman, again, thank you for being here to help us make sense out of the conflicting reports that we're getting out of Kowloon Walled City. Thank you, Shani. I only wish we were speaking in happier times. Hello there, Kuma. What is going on? Having a good weekend? Well, we are basically at the very end of the game, just wrapping up, talking to uh, some folks, and I'm probably going to... Uh, Get off and get some lunch. <laughs> of course, madame, this is indeed a stressful day for the citizens of the walled city. But who knows? 
For one of them, it might be their lucky day. Stay tuned, because we're going to cut away shortly to this week's Gigaball drawing, where some lucky winner could walk away with almost one trillion new yen. Now, madame, you were saying that this sort of situation is inevitable when masses of underprivileged children are raised in a world without hope. Exactly, Sonny. Without hope, these children are left to create their own opportunities the only way they know how, by turning to crime. They're often brought up in single-parent households without strong guidance to put them on the right path. They are surrounded by thugs and criminals eager to put them to work in all manner of unsavory activities. And it's events such as this one that call our attention to the plight of these poor, poor children. That is why today I call on my Executive Council colleagues to join with me in supporting a new project, Operation Hope. Under the auspices of this program, we will pull these children out of poverty and place them in loving, stable homes, while their parents are rehabilitated, re-educated, and reinvigorated with a new sense of purpose. That sounds like a tremendous... It is, Sonny, and it will cost billions of new yen to support such a mammoth effort. But Sang Mechanical Services is ready to lead the way through our new charitable foundation, Sang for Hope. It's time for us to give back to the community and... Madam Councilwoman, I'm afraid I need to cut you off here. As always, you are doing amazing work for the people of Hong Kong, but... It's time for Gigaball! Of, of course. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for joining us and offering your perspective. We've been speaking with Josephine Sang, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and frontrunner to be the next chair of the executive committee. Oh boy. Let's go talk to Kindly, then we'll head back to the big Texas. And, uh, I think the game will end? I don't imagine there's much else to do, so. Who are you? It's a big revolver. As you enter, Kindly Cheng is giving instructions to Strangler Bao, who nods enthusiastically. He looks over at you and holds up a hand. Wait. And sent Wang and Ho to snatch some of those medical supplies off the relief trucks. With all the excitement, nobody's watching them at all. There'll be a big black market for them over the next few weeks. Good thinking, Miss Chang. Bao lifts a finger to his ear to transmit the orders. When he sees you waiting, he inclines his head a quarter of an inch. The plague. I figured you were dead. Last I heard, my soldiers found you, and everyone was heading into the walled city. Then things got out of control. Where are my people? What the hell happened? Um... We got... You're really stealing medical supplies? Uh, do I call her out on it, or... Do we play nice with Auntie? Let's play nice. Is that how you treat my resources? Yeah, you'll make the loss. Callus, I like that. Well, they knew the risks. They had a shot at moving up, and they missed. Forget them. I've got bigger problems, like customers and tenants streaming out of the walled city, screaming for their lives. Like the HKPF and those Sang security sh guys swarming the place. Now tell me what happened in the walled city. Or do I have to get an acetylene torch and ask nicely? Uh, yeah, a new tenant was just moving in. We had to send them packing. Of what kind? You know, just the Yama King. Kyanya, Queen with a Thousand Teeth, that sort of thing. Never heard of her, but I know the Yamakates. My grandmother used to try and scare me with stories of them. I guess she thought she was teaching me something by scaring the crap out of me. I remember one Yama specifically. Oman, the serpent of the setting sun, oh yes. 
Fu Mang promised wealth and influence for those willing to do what was necessary to take it. The story of Fu Mang spoke to me. All he asked in return were forty-four hearts pulled from the chests of those closest to you while they were still alive. Hearts from random victims wouldn't do, so those who took Fu Mang's bargain would befriend others before taking their hearts, turning their entire network into a list of victims. Yes, Fu Mang spoke to me, but I didn't listen. My apologies, Miss Cheng, but one of the men you sent with the runners into the Walled City is still alive. He stumbled into Wong and Ho as they were pulling medical supplies off a of lorry. <laughs> At least Wong came back alive. Our man says that Wong Lun Fat is dead. He got shot up by the HKPF inside the walled city. Our man saw it with his own eyes, Miss Cheng. Um, that sounds good. It wipes the slate clean, my darling. Oh, yes. You see, Wong Lung Fat was my superior in the Yellow Lotus, a 438. He was also a pig. Tell our friend the plague what that means, Mr. Bao. Let's say it slow so I can savor it. The death of Wong, Wong Lung Fat has opened a spot for you to move up, madame. You could be the next 438. The gods help those who seize opportunities. Mr. Bao, put every man we have on this. Spread the word. Nightly Cheng says all debts to the Yellow Lotus are suspended for citizens of the Walled City until order is restored, and no interest will compound either. Tell them I have medical supplies, too. There will be no charge for them until the crisis is over. Quite the pillar of the community. I wish there was a little marking to ensure this was sarcasm, but that's what I'm going with. Don't be snide, the plague. You don't want to blow my good mood. The citizens of the walled city need clarity and reassurance. The Yellow Lotus will provide that for them. I may not have brought Josephine Sang down, but I've got my career going again. Your career too, Mr. Bao. You'll be my new straw sandal. Good partners support one another. You have proven that, Mrs. Chen. This calls for a drink. Your loyalty and clear-headedness have proven immensely valuable, Mr. Bao. You are an effective ally, and I wish you great wealth and good fortune. Uh, congrats, kids. Yes, yes, and it appears your fortune is changing too, the plague. Remember, you have a mysterious benefactor, one who lifted the APB on you. Any ideas who? I don't have a clue, and I must admit that bothers me. It must be somebody powerful. I can't imagine it was Josephine Sang. After all, what would her motivation be? It's got to be someone else. Um. Yeah, just you have enemies on the council. I'll tap my network, find out if I can. But that's for later. I'm missing an entire piece of your story, my darling. What happened at Prosperity Tower? Did you rescue Raymond? Did his mother wipe his memory? Yeah, we got to Raymond before she could finish. Impressive. You've, you've become quite a shadow runner, the plague. While you were in Prosperity Tower, did you find any incriminating data on Josephine Sang? Dirt, something I can use. Um. Uh, do we try and get some money from her? If you have what I'm looking for, you will be rewarded. Yeah, I've got it. Data first, and then you get this. That's how it works, dear. Hmm. Done. 
Now I can trink that dried up old hag to the mat. With this, Josephine's stays on the executive council are numbered. Bow, it appears my fortunes have truly changed. Our partnership has become quite reaching the plague. To my new number one shadow runner, may our partnership continue to bear fruit. So if it's a big fat fruit. I'm certain it will be the plague. I have a good feeling about you. Kindly Chang watches you drink, smiling her serpentine smile. Then she downs her glass in one swallow and licks the rim. Now before I get back to business, I must know, how did you go from rescuing Raymond to the walled city vomiting people? Ray made a magical fortune machine. Your boss or father created a magical fortune machine. Please tell me you have control of this device. Please tell me you brought it to me. Nope. Well, that's a pity. I'm sure there are plenty of people who could benefit from it. Well, this business has certainly proved lucrative for me. I'm in a prime position to be the next Yellow Lotus 438. I only lost four men. And I finally got something I can use against Josephine. You've made quite the splash since arriving in Hong Kong, the plague. Many shadow runs completed in a very short time. The reports from our clients are glowing, mostly. Yeah, you can add a uh, de-summoning a demon. Perhaps for some, for a while. Listen to me, my sweet. When I was a girl, there had never been a pandemic like Vitus. Then in 2010, it happened. We'd never seen death like that. A quarter of the world's population disappeared. It was miserable. It pushed us to our limits, but survivors moved on. And then the spike babies started appearing, and the dwarf babies. And then suddenly there were dragons, and goblinization, and magic. And every time the world changed, we got used to it. So if a demon goddess decided that the walled city was her new living room, and you didn't do whatever you did, what would have happened? Perhaps the news would cover it, until the next sensation pulled their attention away. But after a while, it would be drowned out by all the other crap competing with for our attention. And the demon in the walled city would become the new normal. Well, the walled city is not under magical influence anymore. Congratulations. The poor can return to their misery with no interference from magical machines or big bad things because of you. Now let me give you a piece of advice for the future, my sweet. Something Mr. Cheng used to tell me. Respect ghosts and gods, but keep away from them. It sounds like you almost lost yourself in the walled city. I think you'd best listen to that. Yeah, no more demons for me now. Okay, let's go get some sleep. <laughs> Objective added. Go to bed. The scene on the Big Texas is quiet, save for the sounds of eating. The crew is crowded around Gobbit's electric hot plate. Her cast iron pot simmers on top, and they hold bowls of soup in their hands. You recognize the smell. Chicken-style soya broth. Elbow macaroni and ham, and a heaping scoop of egg-flavored mycoprotein. The mood is somber. I thought you were all going to bed. We figured we'd hang out a while. No one could remember the last time we ate. Besides, no one could sleep anyway. She means me. I'm too screwed up to sleep. Try not to think about Raymond. They're just keeping me company, feeding me, pretending not to be tired. Talking a bit. What are you talking about? 
We've been debriefing a bit. Yeah, talking about all the shits that's going on. The stuff that's going on. Everything we've been through together. Sorry about Raymond, Seattle. You too, Duncan. He was trying to do good with that machine. You two need to remember that. I can't believe he did that. He gave himself to that demon. Yeah, that's what he came to do. I guess we did too, Crabapple. We came to help Raymond, and he got what he wanted. Hard to believe we defeated a god. Demon god? From another plane of existence. Hard to believe Josephine Sang was going to remain untarnished by this whole thing. 20 years of misery, 20 years of suffering, or tens of thousands, hundreds maybe. That's just the way it is, and the way the world works. The powerful play their games, and the little people pay the price. She'll see justice someday. She has to. One thing doesn't add up for me. Why was Josephine Sang so intent on shutting us down? Why wouldn't she be? You saw what she was responsible for. No, think about it. The HKPF snipers, the plastic-faced man. All of the resources she poured into capturing Raymond and hunting us down. I mean, she's already covered her tracks with that illegal drug lab explosion, right? So why not just let Ray do his thing, then cover it up afterward? It doesn't add up. Had to be the fortune engine itself. Yeah, I think you're right. From everything Raymond said, the key was supposed to be pooling. Turning toxic. But I felt something in that room. A flow of positive key that I didn't expect. I think it was leaving the walled city. Oh, okay. I bet that machine did something else. Something even Raymond didn't know about. What if it was a siphon? What if Josephine Tsang was stealing the cast-off positive key from the walled city? Leeching it for her own benefit. She sealed up the fortune engine, leached the good key for herself, and took Tsang mechanical services from the miner company Ray's father built. The blockbuster is today. That's how she got herself on the Executive Council of Hong Kong. Of course, this is all speculation. Can't prove any of it. But if Josephine was using positive key that the fortune energy, the fortune engine was casting off, she isn't getting it anymore. The foster father saw to that. I wonder what'll happen to her. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So Seattle, what now? Bad. That's a good plan for everyone. But especially you, Crab Apple. You look like crap. So I've heard. Let me check my computers. Messages real quick. Nope. No new messages. Oh, do we have something in the BBS, actually? Do we have data? No. Cool. Yeah, let's just talk to everyone now. How you doing, Reactor? Reactor eyes you impassively. He wears an easy smile, but his eyes are as cold and unfeeling as Koshche's sensors. Well, my friend, quite an evening. We fought and treated with an extra-dimensional being, prevented her from nesting in the walled city, and shut down a machine that was twisting fate itself. A rather impressive list of accomplishments, wouldn't you say? I'll take it. <laughs> yes, my friend, of course you will. Uh, so what's next for you, Ractor? Why, I'll remain here in Hyoi, of course. This place is perfect for my needs. I can easily acquire any materials I might need. And with your help, I have acquired a certain level of proficiency at evading the police. This will be the testbed for the future of our species. The birthplace of a new form of life. And that will help me usher it, and I will help usher it into the world. Sure thing. I would enjoy that. And what do you think the likelihood of that is? Do you intend to stand beside me when the time comes? Yeah, I'll be there. Right. Good, very good. Be well, my friend, and rest while you can. There is more looming on the horizon than you could possibly dream of.
How about you, Gachu? Gachu is in the process of cleaning his cabin as you enter. Using a small hand broom, he sweeps dust and debris in small piles. Sensing your arrival, however, he pauses. The plague. It is not every day that one can say they fought an ancient god and won. It is an unbelievable story. I have a hard time believing it myself. I feel somewhat the same. Perhaps it is the supernatural nature of the Yama Kings, or the mind's own tendency to com compartmentalize. Regardless, it did happen, and we survived. A challenge worthy of legend. How do you feel about being part of it? Uh, I think I need a nap. Well, that is a simple request, easily accommodated. I'm sure no one would begrudge you some rest and relaxation after all of this. And I'm glad you're part of the team, man. Excellent. Then I think I will get to cleaning, and if you need me for anything, you know where to find me. Okay, caught up with Gaichu. Catch up with everyone, then we go to bathe. How you doing, Dunk? You enter Wu's cabin to the sound of his neck cracking at a horrifying volume. You catch his eye and he nods, then begins his standard stretching regimen. I wish there was a stuffer shack in this dang country. I need some nerps, or a Brahma fizz or something. That gobbit stew's heinous. <laughs> yeah. The macaroni makes it feel like home. For you, maybe. But then you're used to prison food, so maybe I shouldn't judge. Long day. Feels good to stretch. You doing okay, man? Yeah, sure. I took a few hits, but I'll be okay. Fine. Whatever. Stop! What do you want me to say, Crab Apple? No, I'm not okay. Is that better? Raymond's gone. He left us. He lied to us. He hurt people, and then he left us again. His name wasn't even Raymond. And now he's going to be tortured for a thousand years or something. He paid for his mistakes. No question about it. It's a high price, though. What about you? What do you think about Raymond, his mom, the fortune engine, this whole messed up business? We beat the queen with a thousand teeth. Can't imagine anyone else in the barons could claim that. Everyone else I knew in the barons is dead. Time for bed, Miss Wallace. I think we deserve a good night's sleep. Get out of here. I'll see you in the morning. What about you guys? How you doing, Isabel? Isabel looks up at you, a troubled expression on her face. If she's found any peace from your victory in the walled city, she isn't showing it. Well, we did it. Kyanya is gone. And we never have to set foot in the walled city again. I guess I don't need those memories anymore. Yeah, but you haven't deleted them, have you? I want to, but something's holding me back. It doesn't feel right somehow, and I don't know why. Yeah, it's true, you will be doing that to yourself, but Josephine was trying to do a Raymond. Although I think it's a weird thing to compare it to, because that was... Like, you'd be doing it to yourself with consent, and Josephine was not doing that to Raymond consentingly. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Changing my past through omission, and rewriting my present by doing it. I think that's a form of self-mutilation, kind of. It makes me feel uneasy. So what do you want to do? I don't know. I think maybe I'll sleep on it. 
Good night, the plague. And rest well. You've earned it. As you enter Gobbit's cabin, you find her sipping from an enormous mug. Something dark and steamy sloshes as she lowers the vessel. Her rats squeak happily from their perches on her shoulders. That was a heck of a thing, wasn't it? We fought a Yama King, and we won. You have a choice. I'd like to stay far away from demon gods from this point on. As life goals go, I've heard worse. Been a long day, hasn't it? I'll be licking my wounds for a while after this one. I think I might have pulled something on the way out of the prosperity chamber. About ready for a vacation. Thank you, Vern. One heck, maybe me and Iz will come with you. I've heard Barcelona's nice this time of year. That was a joke. Kindly would never allow it. At least not for a while. Kindly doesn't own me. Not officially, no. Let's discuss this some other time, huh? I'm exhausted and I really need some sleep. You should get some too. To be frank, I don't even know how you're still standing. Sheer force of will. Yeah, I'll bet. Go exert your will in your cabin, then. We mere mortals need to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, though, right? I mean, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you, got it. Oh, in Seattle? Sweet dreams. Well, cool. We caught up with everyone, I think. Let's go to bed. And I guess that'll be a credits roll? Maybe? Yep, go to sleep and end the campaign. Goodbye. You drop your head onto the pillow and haul the rough naval blanket over you. The big Texas rocks like a cradle and moments later, you're wrapped in the comforting arms of sleep. There are no nightmares, only shadows. The story of the Walled City Riots circulates local news networks for nearly a week. Few outside of Hong Kong hear about the incident, and those who do, and, and of those that do, even fewer care. By the end of the month, the city is back to business as usual. In Hioi, the flow of refugees eventually slows to a trickle. Those who do escape tell stories of a terrifying demon goddess, and of an old man who sacrificed his soul to banish her. Their mad ramblings are generally met with pity or contempt. After the incident in the walled city, the unbroken lucky streak that propelled Tsang Mechanical Services into the limelight comes to an abrupt end. Evidence of Josephine Tsang's culpability in the walled city riots, as delivered by a reliable source, is aired on the Horizon News Network, and the corporation's stock prices go into a freefall. Within a year, Wuxing Incorporated buys out, absorbs, and dismantles the company, and Josephine Tsang is quietly filed away in a corporate prison. She remains there, buried behind walls of concrete and rebar, until she hangs herself three months later. Hioi remains a safe port of call for smugglers, gangsters, and shadowrunners alike. You are no exception. The shadows here welcome you in a way that Seattle never did. You've earned the respect of your fixer, your clients, and your community. And now that the APB on you and your team is lifted, by parties unknown, you are free to operate openly in Hong Kong. This place is yours now, your home. We did it! Heck yeah. I'm gonna go get some lunch, I guess. But thanks for chilling. Oh, that was really good, actually. I, I really enjoyed that game, so... Wish there was another. Oh well. Let's put this back down. <laughs>